hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of p if we have p is equals to 1 divided by p and we solve this problem for all the values of p so here first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution of this equation and which of the roots are extraneous root Further, we solve this problem for two methods. I hope so you like both of these methods. But if you have any other method in your mind, so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. And now we move towards our first method. And in the first method here, uh, we move this P uh, to the left hand side. Or in other words, uh, we just write our left hand side as you know that this is P and the denominator of this term is 1 and in the right hand side we have this is 1 divided by P. And now in the next step we need to cross multiply the terms and we multiply p with this p and we multiply 1 with this one and after cross multiplication of the terms we will get here this is p times p becomes here p square and this is 1 times of 1 is equals to 1 only. And in the next step you see here because we solve this problem for the values of P so uh, that's why we need to remove this square sign from here uh, but now here first we move this one to the left hand side and when we move one to the left hand side it will be written as P square is equals to minus one and this whole uh, equation is equals to zero so we know that uh, one square is equals to one so we replace this one is equals to one square or we write this uh, one as one square and in the next step we need to use here the nice algebraic formula you know about that if we have a square minus b square is equals to a minus b times of a plus b so here we use this nice formula and you see that the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is our b so that uh, after applying this nice formula to the above term our above term is written as first you have a minus b the value of a is b minus the value of b is 1 into a plus b again the value of a is b and the value of b is plus 1 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and in the next step we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write p minus 1 is equals to 0 and the second case is we write p plus 1 is equals to 0 so from first case we easily get the first value of p and that is p is equals to 1 this is the our first root of the given equation and from here we need to move this plus 1 to the right hand side and it will becomes p is equals to minus 1 because this is plus 1 when we move or when we change the side of this term it will becomes here negative so we get p is equals to minus 1 so from first method we will get here uh, there are two roots of the given equation uh, and now here uh, we again solve this problem for second method uh, and in second method we need to copy down given question statement here and the given question statement is that p is equals to uh, 1 divided by p so this is the our given question statement and here uh, first uh, in, in this technique or in this method I can just use a different techniques to find the values of P uh, so here our first step is same which we uh, uh, apply on both of these methods now here in this method we move this P in the left hand side so this P times of P is equals to P square and is equals to 1 so here uh, in the second method I can just use the uh, square root technique to find the values of P so you know that that when in order to remove this square sign we need to apply the square root on both of the sides so that when we apply square root on both of the sides it will be written as p square and its square root is equals to square root of 1 and we have this is this 2 is cancelled out by this square root and we will get here p is equals to we know that the square root of 1 is equals to 1 further you, you see that when we apply square root on both of the sides we will write here plus minus sign on any one of the sides 
so you see here from both of these methods we will get here the same values or same roots of p and now here in the next steps we need to verify that is these two roots our solution or is these two roots be the extraneous root so for this we need to copy down given a question statement here it is p is equals to 1 over p and in this side we will be verify p is equals to 1 and in this side we will be verify p is equals to minus 1 so here uh, when we substitute the value of p is equals to 1 on both of the sides you see that uh, 1 is equals to this is 1 divided by 1 and here you see that we get 1 is equals to 1 so this shows that the value of p is equals to 1 is satisfied over given question statement and here uh, we move toward the second case and in this case we need to substitute this value of minus 1 on both of the sides and you see that we have minus 1 is equals to 1 divided by minus 1 and here we get minus 1 is equals to minus 1 so this also shows that the second value of p is also satisfied our given question statement so finally we have the solution set of the given question is that plus minus one so this is the our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos